Art, music, creativity, a hobby for some, a way of life for others. In a city with over 600,000 people, we meet aspiring artists who tell us why they pursue their dreams. My name is Mackenzie. I am a musician. I grew up in White Rock and uh, I've been living in Vancouver for about two years now and uh, yeah, picked up guitar when I was 15 and just started learning basic chords. Um, I played my brother's guitar and then when my parents realized that I was serious about it, I, they got me a, uh, a nice acoustic guitar for my birthday when I was 16. I just kind of played around with it and uh, it was only about a year ago that I started taking it super seriously and here I am. Um, well, been working at the Canby as the front desk. I started working at Cannabis Culture recently, just, you know, work in the lounge. I've recently finished my uh, basic security training and I will be working as a bouncer soon um, at Funkies. Funkies is the coolest punk bar in Vancouver. And uh, I, I play lots of open mics. I do the odd gig, like maybe once every couple months. And yeah, that, that, that's me. Music is what I want to do, but the industry is, it's just, it's very difficult to make money in. So I kind of have to set that as a lower priority at this point in time. It totally is. Like, if you're gonna spend every minute of every day on music, you can definitely make money doing it. But, you know, I, I'm an adult and I have bills and I need to, you know, make some, some real money first before, uh, before I start releasing. Be because you have to spend money to make money in the industry. You have to pay for studio time. You have to pay for producers and mixer, mixers and master people. And uh, it's a lot of money you have to pay before you start seeing it come back. It totally is. You just gotta make sure you start off with a good base. Do I look up? studying theory like psychology and uh, sociology, basically learning how to think. Um, and now I'm sitting in front of a computer for 12 hours a day designing pamphlets. 
Yeah, that's, that's art for me now. <laughs> Just slightly disgruntled. Um, but, I mean, everyone's got to make money somehow, and you know what, it's a job that I wouldn't hate writing or editing or designing. And it's all kind of combined, which is, all, which is great, because I love combining mediums and theories and whatnot. I'm focusing, I guess, if we're talking about my art evolution, um, I'm just trying to find the time to at least dedicate one hour a day to maybe a creation, like even a small drawing or writing something, basically anything that is created from here, or I, or I guess a connection between here and here, you know. Now I'm just kind of looking for any job I can find, um, such as student life. Um, I mean, since I was little, I wanted it to be a full-time thing, like a career. Um, and you guys saw the Picasso lineup. That's kind of what I want eventually for something that I create. Um, but honestly, society doesn't really allow the artist to be an artist full-time. But artists who inspire me, I guess. Um, she's a stylist slash artist slash like fashion designer and seller. Her name's Iris Apfel. She's like 90 years old, and she's still like just killing it with fashion, like just so great. Um, but it's more the patterns that I enjoy and just sort of the fun that she brings into art, and she turns, I guess, fashion into an art more, or styling at least. Um, so that makes my day to day a lot more more artistic. It's like, oh yeah, if I can't create a, a work of art or something, why not just you know dress up like one? A starving artist in this day and age, I think, is just a student with a lot of loans that they took out and now a lot of debt. Um, I wish I could could have spent more of that loan on art supplies. <laughs> that would be cool, but it was mostly on like really crap food <laughs> and um, well tuition. But yeah, hopefully I'll end up taking more art courses in the next little while, it would be nice. Um, learning the software to make digital art is definitely helpful because that's just another medium I could you know, play around with. Um, but school is definitely not a forever thing unless I'm learning more about uh, <laughs> literature or just things that I, anything that catches my fancy, I'd love to be able to just afford that. Just be like, oh yeah, I, I'm curious about this subject. I'm just gonna take a course at whatever school and uh, maybe get some art out of it or some new, th new way of thinking, yeah. So, chase your dreams, make your goals a reality. Why? Because it's what you want, isn't it? So chase after it. Ken Foster piece. Oh, I don't know who that is. <laughs>